Girls Girls, today we're going to be talking about a famous artist called René Magritte who is from a country called Belgium. He was a surrealist artist. That means that he used a lot of ideas from his dreams, things that sometimes did not really make sense. Hopefully you got a chance to watch the short movie about him so you will know some things about him. We're also going to be looking at his painting called The False Mirror to get our inspiration for our artwork today. You will be needing for your artwork today a piece of paper, something round to draw around. I'm using a plate that's almost as big as my paper. You don't want it to be bigger than your paper, but you don't want a really tiny one either. So about the size of my paper. You will need a pencil, an eraser, a sharpie, coloured pencils and watercolours. Okay, so for our painting, we are going to be making a big eye and we're going to be starting off by putting our something around our plate in the middle of our paper and just draw around it very lightly. Now we're going to make the curved part of the eye. So I'm going to make, come to the middle, I'm going to make a little dot near the edge. And I'm going to go and do the same on the other side, a little dot. And I'm going to be joining in with a curved line, the dots. I'm going to go over the top of my circle. So I'm going to cut a little bit of that circle off. And I'm going to go as close to my dot as I can. And then from this one on the bottom, same thing. I'm going to take my curved line as best as I can all the way around. And this part is the part I'm going to erase. So now I have something that looks a little bit like an eye shape. Now I'm going to use my Sharpie. So I'm going to trace what I have so far. My eye shape. And then I'm going to add a little line, a curved line here. That's a little part of my eyelid. I'm going to do the same on the bottom. Granny Marguerite did not add eyelashes on his painting, but if you want to, you can, or you can leave it like this. Now, the middle part of our eye is where our artwork is going to be. In René Magritte's painting, he had clouds floating through the coloured part or the iris part of his eye. We are going to think of something to put in ours that is like a dream. Right now I'm just making the little black pupil part of my eye in the middle, a little black circle. And around here, I'm going to think of something that is in maybe a dream I had. So I was working in my garden all weekend. So I was dreaming all about flowers everywhere and bunny rabbits hopping all over. So that's what I'm going to draw inside my eye. And I'm just going to do that straight with Sharpie. I'm just going to draw some big flowers. You can make your scene inside your iris or your colored part of your eye, anything you want to be, something that you've dreamed about. Maybe you've dreamt about playing basketball or dancing on the stage or going to a picnic. You can put any story or picture inside your eye that you like. 
So I'm just going to continue filling up mine. Maybe I'll have a little bunny rabbit over here who's hopping through my garden. Okay, so once I have that done, I'm going to use my colored pencils to color them. You can use anything to color, crayon, color pencil, whatever you have on hand. Just don't use markers because we will be painting the background also. So once I've got mine all colored, I will be ready to paint. I think I'll leave that bunny rabbit white. So I'm going to paint my background with watercolor paint and you can use whatever paints you have. Because it's a dream-like painting, it doesn't need to be realistic colors. So I am going to paint my background here in green. Okay, and then I'm going to also paint my background. Again, it does not have to be realistic color. In Rene Magritte's painting, he did paint it realistic skin color. So if you want to go with that, you can, or you can paint it any color you like. I'm gonna leave these parts white. These are the whites of my eye. But my background, I am going to paint purple. So I'm just gonna Continue to paint until I've filled up all the space around. I'm going to come right up to the eye shape there and continue to paint. Okay, I hope you have fun learning about René Marguerite and I can't wait to see your surrealist artwork.